Welcome back to the bench. We have for you today an autopsy of a failed LED lamp. This is um, an Osram branded lamp. Um, so I did contact Osram and asked them what the life expectancy of these lamps were because I literally bought a three pack of these, what, six months ago? And two of them have already failed. Um, I switched the light on, it briefly came on for a split second, I flashed and then just went completely out. Um, Osram did reply to me um, quite promptly and they informed me that they don't actually make these lamps. They're made under license by a company called LED Vans. So I contacted them um, with the same question and I just got a generic answer back um, basically telling me to take them back to where I bought them from and ask them for a replacement. Uh, yeah, for that I'd need a receipt and let's face it, who buys a pack of bulbs for like 10 euros and then keeps the receipt? Um, <laughs> I don't think many people do. Um, so yeah, so I can't get them replaced, so might as well tear them apart. Um, these are uh, glued on pretty hard. Um, it's not coming off at any time soon, so what I did is, is I have two. Here is one I prepared earlier. <laughs> So yeah, you can see uh, that it's um, glued on pretty well. Um, so yeah, getting off that by hand would have been nigh impossible. It's some kind of um, mastic glue. You know, it's not hard, it's still soft and springy, so I want some kind of silicone glue, um, but yeah. So that's bonded to the, uh, this is actually metal, this part. So it's bonded to that. So yeah, I think we kind of have to try and get the rest of this out um, by going medieval on it. See if we can get that out so we can get the circuit board out. Ah, there we go. So it is coming out. That's it. And we can see our circuit board down there. Obviously they uh, didn't clean up the flux, which is um, still around here. So obviously the, the driver board is soldered directly onto here. So I think the only way we're going to uh, get that out is by uh, desoldering these and then take out the LED PCB, which, yeah. Okay, so I can see what's happened here. Don't know if you can see it just on this LED here. I'll bring it up closer. Or maybe I'll zoom down. Extreme zoom, focus. There we go. That's my pointy thing. You can see here, oh no, wrong way, here. This LED here has a tiny black dot of death. So I would say that this thing has failed. So they're probably driving this thing a little bit too hard. And yeah, the LED's just gone pop. Oh, too extreme. Okay, well, let's see if we can get into this thing and, uh, you know, see what the, the quality of the driver is like. See if we can suck this solder out. No, oh, turn the temp up. It's a big mass there. It's not melting that easily. I'm guessing the uh, board is probably going to be aluminium backed. So yeah, there's a lot of thermal mass in there, even with a temperature set to 450, it was having a bit of trouble melting that. Okay, let's see if we can somehow squeeze this board out of here. 
Still a bit of this silicone in the way. So you can get a bit more of this off. And yeah, the board has started to come. There we go. Okay, yeah. And as I guessed, aluminium back plate. Okay, and here is our driver PCB. Doesn't look too shabby. So just pull that out. Yep. Oh, that's nice construction. It just literally clips in. As you can see down here, you've just got a uh, a pin, and it literally just plugs into there. So that is a that's a very nice design. It's a very simple design. So, let's zoom in again, get position right, focus, come on, you're too close, okay, so, we've obviously got this resistor here, which is probably being used, it's marked FR1, so, it's being used as a fusible resistor. Okay, then we've got uh, our uh, bridge rectifier. Uh, some small passives, resistors, capacitors, 8-pin jolly. And that's probably going to be a diode, yeah, D1. So let's see if we can get a number off U1. Let's go to shot a second while I look at that. 27NLZG5. Yeah, so that's going to be the uh, the brains of the operation. That's going to be running the, uh, the transformer. So, yeah, we've got here an inductor. It's going to be primary side capacitor. There is actually a, uh, a place here for a different capacitor, uh, but that wasn't included. And then on the output side, yeah, we just got another capacitor there on this diode. So, none of these cheap ones, well, the cheap ones would use a capacitive dropper, but this looks like it's using a very small um, switch mode power supply uh, to uh, run these things. You know, I quite like the design of that. It's a, a shame it's failed. Um, not sure if we can test any of these LEDs. Um, maybe I can get the uh, power supply on it and uh, maybe see if we can light some of them. Not sure what voltage they're going to be. So I've got my DIY power supply that I built, Bent Power Supply, which you can um, find by uh, watching my video, which I'll uh, link at the end of this video so you can see how I. Uh, built that. Um, so we take our board here. I've got it set to 7.5 volts. And we can see there that lights up. This one, nothing. This one, lights. Get it right. That lights. That one works. So all the LEDs work except for this one here. So, you know, you can tell by the black dot that, uh, yeah, that was the one that failed. And if we just crank the uh, power supply up to eight volts, then, oh, you see, it swamps out the camera. That is very bright, just at eight volts. So I'm not sure what voltage these normally run at. Um, yeah, I'm not brave enough to uh, plug this into the mains and measure the voltage and do all the calculations. Uh, unlike uh, Big Clive, who uh, obviously has worked a lot with high voltages before, so he's kind of more knows what he's doing. Um, I'm not that uh, adventurous and, you know, 
don't want to go and get a shock like electro boom. <laughs> so yeah, so that was a failure of my LED light. As I said, I've got two of them that are faulty. The other one is here. I'm not going to take that apart, but I'm going to assume that that was the exact same um, failure mode with this. So if you do buy any of these lamps, um, it's just, it looks like the model number is AC01742. And it's a uh, 2700 Kelvin 9 watt uh, LED lamp made in China. Um, or it could also just be called an LD7X, which is another code on there. So, yeah, if you do buy some of these, I mean, these are like, um, you know, a, a very good light. They're quite bright at 9 watts. Um, if you do buy any, I would say make sure you keep the receipt because if you do die after six months, you can take them back and get a replacement. Okay, so if you like that uh, video, then um, give me a thumbs up. Um, any comments, greatly received. You can enter them below. Um, if you like this video, then you know, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and um, if you ring the bell icon then you will get notified of when I uh, upload new content. Thank you for watching.